The Catholic Church has long been on the pro-life side of the abortion issue, and the Diocese of St. Augustine supports Catholic churches in 17 counties in Northeast and Central Florida. Our Jessica Clark reports on the Diocese's response to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Uh, pure joy. Pure joy. That's how May Oliver described her feelings Friday after hearing Roe versus Wade was overturned. It's been 50 years of looking at um, a law that has been so unfair and un unconstitutional. Oliver is the director of the Diocese of St. Augustine's Human Life and Dignity Office, and she also started Florida's March for Life 17 years ago that takes place in St. Augustine every year. We've had up to about 4,000 people. People come. marching against abortion. In Florida alone, we've lost over 3,600,000 children. Now we can look forward to a future where that isn't going to happen. Florida lawmakers recently passed a bill that will outlaw abortions after the 15th week of pregnancy. Our state for the moment will be a state that will provide abortions, but we hope that we can make abortion unthinkable and, uh, and hopefully remove it from our own uh, state constitution. Oliver leads the Diocese of St. Augustine's 17 counties in North Florida, providing help to women with unplanned pregnancies. In this diocese, that's, we have a pretty sophisticated network of both pregnancy centers, maternity homes, and also uh, assistance for women who have gone through an abortion. Oliver says the March for Life will continue because it provides information to the public about services for pregnant women and new mothers. And while she is thankful for the Supreme Court's decision. I know that there are people that are really upset today and we are praying for them and we are praying that our country will come together. We're talking about human lives. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.